Chetto are a machine builder here in Portugal that have been going since 2009 and they make some fascinating machinery. Let's go take a look inside. So Carlos, here we are at the wonderful Chetto facility, but who are Chetto, where are they based? So we are based in, uh, in Portugal. Okay, Portugal is in Europe, as you know, <laughs> and uh, we are in a city that is called uh, Oliveira de Asmeis, okay, that is one of the main cities for the mold industry in Portugal. So Portugal has two main cities, one is Marinha Grande and the other one is Oliveira de Asmeis, so when we are, our headquarters are here in uh, Oliveira de Asmeis city. Absolutely, and you guys started in, mold, in the mold industry, and it wasn't a long yeah. time ago, was it? No, it was, oh, I'm getting old. But I was like 30 years ago, more than 30 years ago, I was working in the mold industry, also in a local company, and also my, my partner also, he bought me work in a mold shop in the past, yes. So there's a lot of expertise around machining, you running CNC yeah, machines? Yeah. Since a long time we are familiar, I will say, with the, with the machine tools, also with the mold construction. So most of our friends, they work in the industry, so uh, we are very close with everyone, so when we also know all the owners, or most of the owners of the mold shops here. Absolutely, and, and Chetto as a machine builder, what should people know? If you were to sum up them as a machine builder in, in a sentence, what would you say? As a machine builder? Okay, we are, I will say that we are unique, because we don't come from the tradition. We don't come from the tradition of the, you know, the, like the German companies coming from the machine tools and they coming here from here. So we're starting something from, uh, from nothing, I will say. And uh, that makes all the difference because when the people talk to us, we know a little about their work. And that makes all the difference because sometimes we, we, the client, they want a solution. They don't want the machine. Sometimes they don't care about the, the power of a spindle of the RPM. No, they want the solution. So we have the reference. We have a happy clients. We have good products. We have an amazing service. So uh, it's a different uh, machine tools. Even when you ask me about machine tool, I don't know, you know, for me, it's our machine. So uh, we focus on the process to help the client to be better. Absolutely. You can see the components of the machines being assembled right here as we speak, right in front of us. And the, fi the, the finished machines being assembled and almost, and some have been disassembled, ready to be sent out. Correctly. Now, these go all around the world, don't they, these machines? Yeah, we have machines. I would say everyone who makes good molds in the world, they have our machines. So you can find it in China, in India, all countries in Europe, uh, like Italy. We have a lot of clients in Italy, Germany, Poland, uh, France, uh, Sweden, Norway, Spain, Portugal. You find, also, you find us also in Brazil, in Mexico, uh, USA, Canada. So we are almost everywhere. But assembly machines is not easy. Let's talk to Hugo about managing these kinds of projects. And now I'm here with Hugo, who runs the production team here at Chetto. Now, Hugo, how good does an engineering team need to be to make a machine tool? First of all, we need to have a strong team, a very motivated team, people who want to be here, people who feel the project. That's the, the first thing that I, I search for um, when I, I try to, to find the technician. And the, sec the second one, of course, the, the technical knowledge and the expertise that they have, it's very, very, very important. And of course, we have a great team. We have a lot of technicians with uh, good expertise and we, with a background in CNC machines. So I think we, we are fulfilled in this, uh, in this uh, part. Absolutely. And it's not easy making, making a machine tool. You need lots of expertise. What expertise do you need? So I think uh, we need to have uh, technicians, uh, I, I call them hybrid technicians because they need to know about everything, they need to know uh, mechanical things, hydraulic things, pneumatic things, electrical things and automation things. So oh my gosh, that's, that's, a, that's very, a tough very, call. very, very important to us. Be, uh, I would like to have a, a team who knows everything and this way we can, we can keep every, everyone in the same level of knowledge. Absolutely, that's, that's a big ask from a lot of engineers to know all of those things and be able yeah. to use those to make good machine tools every day. Now, I'm, I'm constantly amazed by the technology here at Chetto, not just the mechanical systems, yeah. but the, the electronics and the control systems and the software as well is absolutely amazing. There's a lot of patents to do with software. Um, how important is R&D to Chetto? 
The R&D is very, very important to us. And I think it's the strength that we have on the market and the opportunity that we create on the market. Because we are constantly uh, improving our product, improving our process and improving our company. So it's very important for us to keep this uh, running. And what methods, engineering methods, do Cheto employ do you think that help make you such a productive machine builder? So we try to get the good practice of our uh, technicians because uh, most of them come from other kind of business. And we try to use, the, of course, the, the Toyota production system methods like the PDCA that is very important to us, the continuous improvement uh, method. But more than uh, be a good method, this is a cultural question. So we try to, to, uh, to be persistent with our teams to keep that running um, alone without our super supervision, so we are, and we are getting it. Yeah. Absolutely, it's, it's obvious, I think that culture is, is all around here at Cheto. You can see in the floors here are so clean, the organization of everything, the cabling, the stock systems, even the assembly is done um, beautifully, with, with, it's just with so much passion. Do you think that is the key to Cheto's success? I think the key uh, is the people. The people is the most important thing in one company. They are the heart of the company because without the heart, you don't have blood in your veins. Brilliant. Here at Cheto, there's passion for engineering. It's running through their veins. So Carlos, we've heard from Hugo, we've heard from yourself about the history of the company and where you are right now, but where is Cheto going in the future? So, where we go in the future? So, uh, I think we want to write the future. So. Uh, Imagine what we achieve in 12 years, now imagine in 24. So I think that is our main target. One thing I know, we will have new products, uh, always with our thinking, okay, to create value to the clients. And that is exactly what you will find us in the future. We have many good things coming new with the digitalization and everything. But I believe uh, we will have a bright future, yes. And for those customers that are watching um, from all around the world, Carlos, um, what would you say to them? What would you say to them who are interested in a Cheto machine? So one of the things I think they need to meet us, okay? One thing is to see a machine in a catalog, comparing technical points, but people, they look for a solution, okay? So our solution help them to get money because in the end, everybody's looking for the profit, the best ROI, so it's exactly what we try to do that with the client. So uh, I think, first of thing, everyone is invited to come. We have a very nice space for you to come. We have an amazing country also to visit, okay? The people are kind and the machines are beautiful also. So uh, everything is perfect, so it's a perfect package. And you can have another thing, my friend. You can make an industrial tour. Not many others can do that. So we, we live, luckily for us, in a very industrial area. We have a lot of clients around us, and uh, better than us is our client talking about us.